Hello everybody and welcome to Broken Hearted 9-11 Story. You all, you, some of you might know what happened in the 9-11, like September 11th. Basically the whole building just got demolished and lots of people lost their lives. Anyways guys, I'm just gonna do this story again. Broken Hearted, Chapter 1, Introduction. <laughs> Welcome to the office of Wiseman and Associates. Me. Good morning. Good morning, Artie. Hey, Nat. You are chipper this morning. Yeah, had a nice weekend with Heather. Glad to hear about you. I chuckle and sit at my desk. I'm ready to start a New York week. My name is Nathan Lee. My name is Nathan Lee. 23 years old. I'm a junior. Analyst at Wiseman and Associates, a stock research program. Basically, we issue every weekly news set of news every, covering 100 stocks listed in on NSDAQ Our clients are indestructible, and I don't know how to read it. Investors, like, I don't know. I'm not gonna read all this. Chapter 2, Reservation. Man, the fax machine keeps jamming, and when it's working, it keeps spewing out spam. And this telemarketer with a weird accent can't call in. I don't know who he's trying to say. I check my watch, 3 p.m., can I confirm my reservation? I dialed the restaurant windows. Hi, I'd like to confirm my dinner reservation for this Friday. One moment, please. I wait. Your name, please. Levy? Nathan Levy, for two people at 6 p.m.? Yes, we'll have your table re reserved for you this Friday at 6 p.m. Listen, I'll be proposing to my girlfriend during dinner. <laughs> Could you please have a nice bottle of champagne ready? And sit and set us up a table near a window with a romantic view. Of course, Mr. Levy. I'll let staff know. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. See you Friday. I hang up. Knock, knock. I hear knocking on my on my desk and you got. Is he already standing nearby with a big grin on his face? Uh, no doubt. So you're finally ready to give up your bachelor hurt, I see. Well I'm too embarrassed to respond. Here's my advice. Don't screw it up. A frown slowly forms on my face. I'm only kidding, Matt. Well, let me know how it goes. We're all standing behind you. Wait a minute. Should I do like voices for each of them? Okay. Artie slaps me on the left shoulder to emphasize his support. No more wisecracks about this. Please, I'm nervous as it is right now. Hot dog. Starting to hear hot. Hot dog! When the hell did he show up? Christ, he's going to blab the to to the rest of the gang. No res no wise cracks. We call this Scott's honor, and we won't talk about it till dinner. Hunt dog, hunt dog winks at me with his right eye and offers me a thumbs up. I can't wink with my right eye. Well, I can wink with my other. I can wink with this, and you can't even see my face. Now. My face can't even. Ooh, chapter three. Finally home. I finally made my way up four flights of stairs. Huff, puff, huff. With the last huff, take take out my keys to open the door of my apartment. What's going on? As I enter, I'm struck by a nice aroma. I take in the smell try to register the aroma with the smell of fly foods in my brain. Hmm? Chicken stew? Heather. Okay, my girl. Wa Ooh! Heather comes up at the kitchen and walks up to me. Okay, I'm trying to do my best girl impression. Smooch! Hey! I guess for air as Heather speaks, acting like nothing happened. <laughs> 
What taking you so long, Nat? You're supposed to help me. Prepare the carrots and potatoes for the chicken stew. I'm sorry. That's not nothing. Hang on. What took you so long, Nat? You're supposed to help me prepare this, the carrots and the potatoes for the chicken stew. Sorry, hon. I needed to finish a FOIA request at work. FYA is Freedom of Information Act. Got that? Yes! Heather raises her eyebrow and bats her eye. Wow. Gosh, what long, beautiful eyelashes she has. To be honest, no kidding. Excuse me. Excuse me for that. Oh, okay. I believe you. You didn't have any alcohol in your breath when I kissed you. So, you couldn't have been drinking with the boys at the pub? And here I thought you kissed me because you missed me. I make an exaggerated sad face. Heather punches my right bicep in response. Zoop! Oh! The st oh! The stew! Heather runs back into the kitchen. Ouch! My dinner's not good. <laughs> Chapter 4 Dinner with Heather. Boy playing the game. Well, at least the stew wasn't burned too badly. Thank God for small flavor for favors. Heather looks at me angrily. Wait, what? Wait. God has nothing to do with my burnt stew. It was all your fault for coming home late. I'm sorry, sweetie. I it couldn't be helped. Heather's face softens in response. Yes, I know. So, Mr. Levy, how are you going to make up for the burnt stew? I'm grin and watch her. Oh, God. Please don't. I don't. Please don't. I don't know what they're going to do, but please don't do it when I think they're going to do it. Heather tilts her head slightly, possibly clearly written on her face. They stare at each other. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. 34 seconds pass. Apparently, finally goes in. Jeez, Nat, what's on your mind? My grin, my grin widens. Oh, hell no. Whoa, Molly teasing you, sweetie. I'm taking it to Windows this Friday. I confirmed our reservation this afternoon. It'll be that 6 p.m. Finally, you smile. For real. I mean, seriously, you smile. Heather's, Heather smiles in response. It starts cleaning up our entertainment. I put the dishes in the dishwasher. So what do you want to watch tonight? I'm going to skip the movie. I would like to finish up a romance novel I'm reading right now. I chuckle. Yeah, I can't. Oh, hell no. I can't censor that. Me? Okay, I'll watch a porno movie then. Fuck, man. I wish I could edit the video and censor that. Heather playfully smacks me on the back. Exactly! You don't have any, dear. Oh, he's gonna... I skulk and die. Good! Good! I don't want to watch some no porno movies. What the fuck? Nothing gets by you. Heather grins in reply. Why would you want to watch p porn when you have me? Oh my god! Stop talking about that! <laughs> Stop talking about it! <laughs> Heather pulls me by the arm, heading straight. Oh, hell no. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I open my eyes and these are fumbling my throat. Let me see if I did. Oh, good. Did they do what I think they did? I don't care. I'm skipping the hell of it. The hell with it. I. I hate rush hour. I mean it. I really, really hate rush hour. I'm standing in line right now at the Union Square subway station waiting for it to buy a Metro card. Just my luck. I got the limited. Just a card. So here we are, baby. Can buy a Metro card. Why did they do that? I'm just gonna skip the whole thing. 
I hate rush hour. I hate rush hour. I absolutely hate rush hour. Uh, <laughs> the train isn't moving right now. We're sitting in the Canal Street station. Oh my god. Um, give me a team, please. Hang on. The line six has been shut down. There is no subway surface at this time. You must leave the train and exit this station. What? You gotta be kidding me. I'm not going to the man. What's going on? Why are we evacuating? I don't know. There's something bad going on further downtown. We were told to order a full evacuation of the subway train. Okay. I obey the director. Follow him. Chapter 7. Out of the station! I took, it took over 10 minutes for me to get out of the station. They really need to install more exit at this station. But then again, this is China Town! There is a little more, there's little, there's little room as it is right now. Will they create more exit? <laughs> there we go. Who's that? Do, do, I, do I smell something burnt? <gasps> Those 9 11. Oh my god. Smoke is, smoke is coming. Smoke is coming out on the World Trade Center after a plane hit it. The World Trade Center is burning! My heart starts pounding. Did they say which tower got hit? Both got hit. What? My my reaction exactly. Apparently one plane hit and the hit this one. Oh my god, my heart pounds even faster. Oh my god, my company and Heather are in the North Tower! <gasps> oh god. Why does it have to end like this? I'm starting to panic now. Make a call or something. Damn! I hear a loud moaning sound, sounds like an earthquake. You have to ground remains firm! On my corner of my eye, I notice movement. I turn my head and see the possible side. The South Tower is collapsing! In a heartbeat, my own turns into hormones. This thick red cloud. Oh my god. I run for my life! I put myself in God. Why does that have to end like this? Lots of people lost their lives on that, bro. Chapter 9. I'm going to open a few of them. I'm going to open a few So I'm keeping my eyes shut. I'm going to open a few of them. Anyways, guys, that's going to have to end it for this. I'll do another gameplay tomorrow. There's going to be a double upload today. It's going to be a mix. Tomorrow will just be a gameplay and a gameplay. Anyways, guys, see you later.